hello and welcome to this new video today we're going to be designing a custom 404 page for wordpress using elemental now by default the 404 page of your wordpress website is gotten from your current team and using elemental and one other free plugin we're going to be designing this custom 404 page and we're going to use it as our default 404 page on our wordpress website as you can see on this page we have um, a simple design but we have some other meaningful information that is going to help your user out whenever they land on a 404 page. And without wasting any much time, let's dive right into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is to log into our WordPress area. And I'm just going to assume you don't have Elementor installed. So to install Elementor and the other plugin we're going to be using, come down to plugins and select add new plugin. So come to this search bar here and type in Elementor. So what you're going to do is to click on install and also activate. This button is not active for me because I have it installed and activated already on my website. Now we're going to come down here to search for smart, um, smart 404. I don't know whether I'm correct, but it should come up along with the search result. Okay, let's just scroll down. All right, smart custom 404 error page by NetPress. This is what we need to install. So install this plugin and also activate it. Okay, now we've installed Elementor and then the other plugin we need, which is smart custom 404. Now let's start designing our 404 page. To do that, come to pages and select add new page. So we're going to give our page a title. We're going to give it 404. And we're going to come to this right hand side. We're going to change the template from default template to elemental canvas. Okay, we have it selected as elemental canvas. And now we can um, start editing this page with elemental. So we can just publish this page and then come here to click on this big blue button that says edit with elemental all right so this is the elemental editor where we're going to be designing everything that we can see on this page so let's get started first thing we need to do is to click on this plus icon to add a new container i'm going to choose flexbox and select this third structure now let's drag in the widgets that we need the elements that we need to create this page first of all we're going to drag in heading and i'm going to duplicate this heading and then next, we're going to drag in a text editor. Okay, so for this first heading, let's come back here. We have 404. Let's copy this and um, come here to paste. And then for the next one, we have page not found. And we can come down here to paste also. And for this one, we actually added a little bit of you know design and we changed the color not design we just changed the color now to do this we're going to use the html span tag and um i'm just going to find a way to either paste it in the description or i'm going to put it on my website so just check the link in case you just want to copy this um code for yourself now we're going to come down here to the beginning i'm going to open we're going to start from span right so this is how we can just change the color for this text okay now for the next one we have this text right here it looks like you reached the page let's just copy everything and let me paste it here without the formatting so we can just format everything all together okay why is it not changing okay now we're going to just you know change the font um, family and then the font size and we're going to arrive at this design very soon so starting from this 404, click on this pencil icon and come to style. Under style, we're going to change the color to 1A, 1A, 1A. I'm going to come down to typography. We're going to change the font family. And I'm going to be using a Google font that is called Beba's New. You can use any font of your choice. It depends on your own preference. And for the size, it's going to be pretty big. Let's say 180, 180 pixels. Okay. And then the weights, I think we just have two weight types here, and this is what we can use. Okay, now to the next one that says page not found, we're going to come to style. And uh, okay, we have the color change already. I'm going to change this one also to Beba's new. All right, and then the size is going to be 50. Now there's a little bit of space between both, you know, between the both widgets, between the 404 and then the page not found so let's just click on this container and uh let's unlink these values okay i think it's okay this way now let's format this second text looks like you've reached the page that doesn't exist first of all we'll come to style and for the farm for the font color we're going to use 1a 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 
and um, the font size can be 15. All right, now let's come back to contents. Okay, looks like you've reached a page that doesn't exist, but but don't worry. I use ChatGPT to you know to construct this text, by the way. So in case it sounds like AI, it is. So we're going to just iconize. I mean, or is it itemize? All this text right here. So I highlight everything and click on this icon. Now, okay. Now come to this second one, backspace and click on enter and um backspace enter okay i think we are still lost but this is the end let me just remove the icon for this okay all right so let's just work on a little bit of things right here let me expand this okay it says check the url maybe there's a typo it happens to the best of us we don't need to do anything there go back to the home page click here to return to home page to return home so we're going to highlight this click here because it's going to be a clickable text so first of all let's change this let's change it to bold and let's add a new text a new link by clicking on this link icon so you can just paste in your home page link for my own let me just search for home all right it's not coming up let me just type in my home page url preview okay this is its elemental preview and click on this apply button okay that has been added next one this is explore our content you can visit our blog let's make this bold and let's add a link i don't have a blog page so let me just put an hashtag and then browse we're going to do same thing for this and then put in this you can add a real link on your own website this is just a text website i use for my youtube videos so i don't really have much page like that now if you are still lost feel free to contact us and uh, we're going to highlight this contact us make it bold and we're going to add a link also all right and i think we are good to go now the next thing we need to do is to just add a little bit of padding to this whole container so just click on edit container and we're going to just add about 200 pixels all around okay let's just add 200 mm. okay it's okay so one thing we also need to do one thing we need to do is to come here to edit container okay we are still under edit container i'm going to come to layouts another layout we're going to scroll down and uh under minimum heights we're going to change this to vh and it says to achieve full height container use 100 vh so we're just going to put in 100 so that we're going to achieve the full height of this container for the background color so as this one is white let's say we use black so that every other devices let's say someone is viewing on a large screen like let's say tv they are still going to see the black background from the beginning to the end okay now let's see how it's looking like um i think we are looking similar to this now let's just work on other screens which is the mobile or which is the tablet and the mobile all right for tablets we just need to tweak a little thing um this should just be um the padding so let's unlink all these values let's add 100 to the top let's say 50 to the right 50 to the left and 100 at the bottom okay this should work okay now for mobile okay for mobile let's do a little bit of tweaking here so edit container uh, let's still maintain 100 at the top, but for mobile, let's say 20 at the right, 20 at the left, and 100 at the bottom. And also, let's make this centered. So we're just going to align it here. Click on this edit container, come down to layouts, and under align items, we're going to click on center. Okay. This is looking. This is looking like we have here on this design on this demo that i created earlier on now we're just going to do is to publish all right so the page has been published we can then come here to click on this elemental icon and then exit to wordpress and since we have installed our smart custom 404 page plugin we're going to come down to appearance and we're going to see a new icon here a new text that says 404 error page click on it all right so what we just need to do is under this general we don't need to touch anything under advanced and uh, we're going to come back to gener general page to be displayed at 404 page 
now we're going to select before i select this let me first of all show you our 404 page let me just type in a url that doesn't exist on this website let's say um smart let's say smart okay as you can see this is what we have we just have a text that says oops this page can't be found and uh we have just a search bar here what we're just going to do now is to come down to general and uh, we're going to select the 404 page that we just designed this is it select 404 and uh, we're going to click on save changes okay it says settings saved now let's come back and let's let's click on refresh for this page and we should be able to see our new 404 page and um as you can see we have our new custom 404 page right here so if anybody should land on a 404 page on your website they can see any information that you want them to read um they can either check the url to make sure they are typing in the correct url and then they can go back to home page by just clicking this button and um they can also explore your other content let's say they can go to your blog page or browse your services if you offer a service or product for them to buy and then lastly they can just decide to contact you if they feel it's an error and that page is supposed to be working so there you have it guys this is how you can design a 404 page using elementor and also set it as a default 404 error page on your WordPress website now if you enjoyed the video make sure to like this video and also subscribe for more content like this and also leave a comment down for me any video suggestions anything i might have missed any question that you have for me just leave it down in the comment section below and i'll be sure to reply to all your comments until next time keep creating something awesome